Welcome to another episode of The Young and the Restless. We see Taylor prepare for her wedding at Eric's. Steffi peeks at her dress. She and Steffi are extremely excited. Rich is at Forrester preparing for his wedding. Carter is the officiant. He realized that he left his cufflings at Brooke's house, so he sends Carter over there to pick it up. Carter then asks if he is still in love with Brooke before he leaves. Ridge gets upset and says he wants to move forward. Over at Brooke's, we see Brooke is there looking at pics of her and Ridge. Bill comes by. Bill says that he is there to support her and says no one will stop Taylor and Ridge's wedding today so she should move on. Over at Eric's, we see Douglas is in his room looking at the recording, looking sad. We see Thomas walks in and asks him what's up and why isn't he dressed. We go back to Ridge at Forrester and Ridge is there looking at his him and Brooke's wedding photo in his office. He then turns it down. Back at Brooke's, Bill wants to Brooke to turn the page on Ridge. He wants her to give him another chance. Over at Eric, Steffi questions if Taylor is nervous. She says no. They then decide to do what to do with Taylor's hair. While doing Taylor's hair, Steffi could see that Taylor is concerned and looking sad. Taylor said that she didn't know about the CPS call before Ridge got to Aspen. Maybe if she knew, she would have kept running. Over at Douglas' room, we see Douglas says that he is not going to the wedding. He would rather not go. He doesn't want to cause any trouble. He would rather stay in his room to remain quiet. Over at Forrester, we see Eric and Katie meet up in the office. They talk about the meeting Eric had and then they talk about the wedding. Eric explains that he understands why Katie feels disappointed. Katie tells him Brooke is Bridges' love of his life. Back at Brooke's house, Bill scrolls, scrolls Brooke on how much Ridge has left her heart broken over and over again. Back at Eric, Steffi does Taylor's hair and they talk about her glow. Then they discuss the CPS call again. We then see Ridge comes over at Eric's house. He is greeted by Thomas and tells Thomas that there is always drama at a Forster wedding. Thomas thanks his dad for helping him with his change. Back at the office, Katie and Eric discuss that Ridge and Brooke belong together. Katie asks why is Eric supporting the marriage then if he thinks so. Bill is there at Brooke and Bill is there talking to Brooke, professing his love. We see Carter outside and he is listening. Bill declares that he is her future. Carter shakes his head. Ridge then reflects on how Steffi and Thomas never, never gave up fate and constantly remind him of how much that him and her, their mother belong together. He doesn't want Brooke, to, Thomas doesn't want Brooke to find out about the CPS call and asks Ridge not to tell her. Back upstairs, we see Steffi and Taylor discuss the vows. Taylor reflects on how much she would like for Stephanie and Phoebe to be there. Steffi says that everything is as they would hope or want it to be. Back downstairs, Ridge says he doesn't want to talk about Brooke. Douglas comes down. Douglas says he want to be happy for his grandparents. However, he is not feeling it. Then he requests to go back upstairs to his room until the wedding begins. We then see Ridge claims to Thomas that he is happy. And he is also happy about the changes that Thomas has made in his life. But we can see the gills on Thomas's face. Thanks for watching. Bye.